Meanwhile, lawmakers in Albany are floating with the idea of requiring residential parking permits in New York City. So the goal would be to allow people to park in their own neighborhoods and also generate some revenue for the city. Yeah, well, not everyone's real happy about this suggestion, nor confident it's going to work. Henry Rossoff live in Fort Greene to explain what's going on. Hi there, Henry. Hi, Tamsin. Yes, the reaction to this has been swift. It's all part of the budget battle and the so-called one house proposal where state lawmakers are throwing out ideas they want included in the budget. Well, this one, as you mentioned, would, would look at residential streets like this that tend to be crowded with cars and try to make sure to reserve those spots, especially overnight for the people that live here. But essentially, they would do it by taxing something that has historically been free in the city. And there's no parking available for people who live in the neighborhood. Catherine told us that these neighborhood streets of Fort Greene get so bogged down with the cars of people who do not live around here that she's been forced to get a garage. I'm lucky I can I can afford that, but there's a lot of people who can't. And then you're driving around for 45 minutes to an hour looking for parking space every single day. Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. She supports the idea of residential parking permits to keep neighborhood spots for neighbors. If Albany gives the city permission to do this, it might first implement something like Queens Councilwoman Lynn Shulman's pilot program to bring parking permits to Kew Gardens. It's supposed to do is to make sure that the residents of the community have a space where they can park where they live. But other lawmakers have been quick to push back against the idea, with Brooklyn Councilman Justin Brannon tweeting, uh, we never asked for this. Staten Island Councilman and Republican Minority Leader Joe Borelli is skeptical the plan will come together. I guess all these woke progressives don't like cars unless it's their car and their parking spot. Back in Fort Greene, we also heard practical concerns from neighbors like David Brown. Boxing people is a bad idea. He used to live in Washington, D.C., which has a residential parking permit program. It's just a mess there. If you're in the wrong zone, you can't find parking, or I, I, I got a ticket for parking two blocks over from my house once. And we just learned within the last hour with uh, some documents being released up in Albany that the city would not actually even be able to keep money from a program like this as lawmakers envision it. It would all go to funding the MTA. So no word yet on what the governor thinks of this plan. She has her own MTA funding plan. No word on what city lawmakers think, although I would guess that they're not as thrilled with it because the city's not keeping the money. So a lot of moving pieces here, a lot of negotiating to be done before this becomes a reality. Live in Fort Greene, Henry Rossoff, Pixel 11 News.